Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long, a full 365 days since I have posted anything. Oh my goodness, I have missed this. I've missed talking to you guys. I've missed making videos. I've missed engaging. And honestly, this feels very, very weird to be back in this setup. But nonetheless, I just wanted to come to you guys to update y'all on me and what's going on. To be honest, I definitely did not intend to take a complete year year off and at every given moment during this year I never really had like a set date in mind or time in mind where I figured okay after a month I'm gonna come back or after six months I'm gonna come back even to this day right now I still don't really know if I'm ready to come back but I have been promising y'all those of y'all on my other platforms like Instagram TikTok I've been promising y'all that I won't let it go a full year without at least giving you guys some kind of update as to what's going on with me so that is why I'm here and yeah first things first I'm a little rusty so please forgive me but I kind of just I guess want to start this video off by letting y'all know what's been going on this last year in my life it's really not that much to be honest but I was trying to write everything down and figure out what I wanted to talk about and I feel like there's three really big I guess updates that have happened to me number one and this actually happened literally right after the last video I posted so this is almost a year old at this point but I finally got a job I have or was struggling to find a job for a very 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 long time it was extremely frustrating it was embarrassing but yeah I ended up finding a job and it is a full time time job which wasn't really what I was looking for just to kind of take you guys back so before I moved to Texas I had spent let me see like four months doing social media full-time and I put full-time in quotation marks because that was my intention when I quit my last job but as soon as I quit my job I ended up going through a whole like identity crisis depression I don't know who I am thing and even though I thought I was going to do social media full-time I really didn't take full advantage of that so once I moved to Texas my plan I guess was I was gonna try to at least get like a part-time job that way I could at least like have somewhere that I needed to go every single day like just some type of responsibility something to get me out of the house and out of my funk but I didn't want to work full-time hours because I still wanted time to be able to create and um that did not really end up happening I spent at least nine months looking for a job obviously at first I was being picky because I didn't know it was going to take that long so I was only looking for part-time jobs I was only really looking for jobs with experience that I already had so I was trying to find something in the lab system which you would think because we were at like the peak of the pandemic at the time they would have needed like lab assistance or lab administration but um, nobody wanted to hire me and then I started looking into like just anything office admin because that's kind of what my background was before I was working in the hospital and um, yeah nobody wanted to hire me so basically over time my search just kept broadening so much so to the point where I was like applying for like McDonald's Chipotle Chick-fil-a just like I just wanted a reason to get out of the house and honestly it wasn't even that much about money at the time more so than I just wanted something to do I'm like please somebody just hire me but yeah that was definitely a struggle and long story short I actually was complaining about it on my Instagram and one of you guys DM me and told me about a website I'm gonna let y'all know because I'm not a gatekeeper it's like Randstan or Rodstad I don't know how you pronounce it but tell me why I went on that website and within 48 hours I had an interview I can't tell you how many times I have deep dive through LinkedIn deep dive through Glassdoor how many applications I have filled out nothing crickets but Rand said I have my back hey guys future editing Justin here I realized I told you all of this and didn't even tell you guys what I do so I am a claims adjuster I work in like a call center type of environment and I work for their auto team so pretty much anytime somebody experiences a loss to their vehicle or anything like that I am there to assist in helping you get your car repaired get your coins make the process a little bit easier and yes um, I ended up having to go full-time that wasn't my first choice but actually like now I'm almost I'm 
coming up on my one year anniversary there. I have been enjoying it so much. It's not perfect and I definitely do still wish I was part time because I feel like that's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos, but more so than it being, you know, money in my pocket, it definitely provided me with a lot of stability. Stability with my sleep schedule. If y'all remember my videos from last year, I was struggling so much with my sleep schedule. It helped a lot with my eating schedule. That's something else I was struggling with because I had no real sense of a routine or anything. So now being at the point where I have to go in at a certain amount of time where I get this specific block for my lunch break and then I get to leave at a certain amount of time, it just really helped me to regulate my day. And on top of that, I've actually made some friends. So update number two, this kind of came along with the job, but I was able to move finally. I was able to move and get my own place, which I'm currently in right now. And you guys can't really see that much of it. I'm literally in the corner. But yeah, that was also another very big struggle for me, finding um, housing while being in Texas. For those who don't know, whenever I, well, before I even moved here, I was trying to automatically just move into an apartment. Like I wanted to just take my stuff from my place in Louisiana and move it to my new place in Texas. I was having just such a hard time finding a place or not really finding a place, but just like the application process. I had a few options in mind and each one was just it was not working out for me. So I ended up moving in with family and that was only supposed to last for like two months, maybe three. <laughs> that ended up lasting for two months plus an entire year. And throughout that entire time, I have been trying to find a place to live. I've never experienced this much difficulty with trying to find housing. And I don't know if it is just a Texas thing or if it's just like post pandemic, which that even sounds weird because we're still kind of in the pandemic, but you know, I feel like the biggest wave of it has passed. But yeah, when I tell y'all, I've probably toured at least like 50 different apartment complexes. I've applied to multiple of them. And there was actually one that everything finally went through. I had everything ready to go. I had my move-in date scheduled. I had the U-Haul ready. Everybody was ready to move me in. But something told me that I needed to view the unit I was going to before I signed the lease. Mind you, I've never done that at any of my other apartments. And I've had three before this. But I just knew I needed to I needed to see what I was going into because the model and the leasing office, everything they showed me looked nice, but there was just something in me that was like, okay, I need to see where I'm going to be laying my head. Y'all, when I showed up on the day I was supposed to move in, I had a full blown panic attack because the unit <laughs> they wanted me to move into um, was infested with roaches. <gasps> <gasps> which I am terrified of. And the amount of money I was about to be paying these people every single month to be staying in a place like this, absolutely not. So that was honestly very traumatizing. And what sucked the most is that I felt like I was finally about to have my own place. And then that was like kind of taken from me. And in today's time, like people who are looking for apartments now are more than likely looking for apartments that they're not gonna move into for another several months. Back before when I was in Louisiana, and like I said, I don't know if it's a Texas thing or a post pandemic thing, you could go to a place and they would have availability right then and there. If everything worked out, you could be moved into a place like within a couple days. So that whole ordeal happened in December and it took me until March to get into this place that I'm in now. So all of that to say, I am so excited to have my own place. I was definitely grateful for being able to stay with family for that entire year, but I just, I like having my own space. There's just nothing like having your own space and feeling that freedom and then last but not least this is not really like an update more of something really really special and amazing i got to experience this was back in march yeah because it was right around the time i moved in here i think it was like a week before i was invited by a brand that i have been super super infatuated with to go out to houston texas and shoot a campaign with them if y'all follow me on instagram that you probably already know but buff bunny collection which is a amazing athletic women own everything brand asked me if i wanted to join them for their sugar rush collection this collection was in collaboration 
collaboration with Felicia Keithley, who is also somebody who I have been inspired by for many years at this point. So that was such an exciting experience for me. And the very first time I've ever been invited or done anything with a brand like physically in person, the first time I've like been surrounded by other people who do similar things as me. And it was just amazing. The vibes were immaculate. I most definitely had imposter syndrome the entire time because I was like, who am I and why am I here? I don't belong here. But nonetheless, it was so much fun. And I'm so grateful because literally the fact that they even wanted me to be a part of it, and I'm saying a part of it, like I was in a couple shots. It wasn't really that big of a deal but it was a big deal to me. But the fact that they invited me to do it while I was being inactive, cause I hadn't like posted in probably six months at this point, was really, really special to me. So in case they ever see this again, thank you so much. Y'all definitely, that was like probably one of the biggest highlights of my year. So those are definitely the three biggest positive things that have happened to me this year. However, <laughs> um just to kind of bring things back into reality this year um has probably been i'm not even gonna say probably it has been the hardest year that i have had mentally i did not <laughs> oh this is difficult for me to talk about but i i did not think that my mental health could get to an even worse place and I feel like even before this year, I know everything I'm saying is within this year, but this honestly has been going on for probably the last three years. I've been like kind of on this decline with my mental health, but this last year I have reached some, some of the lowest lows that I've been at. And when I say low, I mean like no longer wanting to be here low. For me, just seeing another day is a win. That's how low I've been. And that's definitely part of the reason why I stayed away as long as I have. And to be honest, I don't really know if I would say like I'm back back for real because I'm still low. <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I'm saying a bunch of nothing right now. And I know I shouldn't think this because I would never want or allow somebody else to think this way about themselves. But I just feel so like stereotypical. I feel like, I don't know if it's just the company that I keep or the people that I follow online, but I don't really know of anybody who's not struggling with their mental health. Um, so I kind of just like me saying that, I just feel like such a broken record. Like in general, everybody is struggling and I know I shouldn't think that way, but I'm just being honest with y'all. It's difficult and I'm still trying to navigate through it. I have put some things in place that should be helping with that. I'll probably be sharing that pretty soon. But yeah, I have been struggling a lot, guys. And I think the main thing is just feeling lonely and not really having a ton of support, if any. And when I say support, I mean like verbal, emotional type of support. And that mixed with me trying to share this new journey, this intuitive eating journey and receiving so much hate and backlash online really just doesn't mix well together because I don't have anyone to really, I don't know, like help me out with it. I feel like it's just me versus me. Like I'm just in my head 24 seven overthinking and it gets really, really tiring. And that's just like one thing. And I feel like that is kind of the main thing. I'm kind of being nonchalant about it, but I don't want to put all my business out there because some of it, I don't even still understand it to this day. But yeah, that's pretty much what has been going on. I'm still battling with it. I'm not saying that it's over in any way. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on. As far as my intuitive eating journey, I think I'm going to create a whole like separate video talking about that just because I'm looking at the time this has already been way longer than I thought I was going to talk so I will be updating you guys on that pretty soon but yeah I guess last thing I want to say is just a big thank you to those of y'all who have been patient a lot of y'all have not been patient and I say that like smiling because I promise you guys there hasn't been I'm not going to say every day but there hasn't been like maybe two or three days that have gone by where I haven't had somebody check in on me or ask me or threaten me <laughs> that I better post a video. 
y'all are funny but honestly i say that like lighthearted because even though i wasn't in a good mental space to be posting and be filming it did just feel good that people cared and people wanted to know what was going on so i do just want to thank those of y'all who have checked in on me just let me know that you're praying for me rooting for me whatever i definitely appreciate it and it doesn't go unnoticed and yeah i hate to like end this video on such a debbie downer note but that's kind of it I would encourage y'all to let me know what you think, your thoughts, how y'all are doing. But um, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm still gonna have the comments off um, just because I don't think that I can mentally handle that right now. So anyway, I hope y'all are doing well and I will talk to y'all soon in my next video. Love you guys and I'll see y'all later, bye.